Developing news in the Casey Anthony case, new home video shows a private investigator for Casey Anthony's parents in the woods near their home. Yeah, and that's the same place where the remains of murdered toddler Kaylee Anthony would eventually be found. Holly Bristow is live in Orange County with more on this developing news. Holly. Well, Keith, Keith, I'll tell you one thing. I've actually seen the photos that Dominic Casey took out in the woods that day. I'm the only reporter in Orlando who has seen those, and I will tell you that the photos from what I've seen are much more telling than the video that we saw on Geraldo's show tonight. Now, we did get this video through Geraldo at large. Fox News Channel did get this video for free, but from what I've been told from several sources, including the Anthony's attorney, Brad Conway, who's joining me live, that video was being peddled to national media organizations and to some local ones. And I tell you that Fox and Fox 35 did not buy this video. Brad Conway saw this video for the first time tonight. Brad, what did you think of it? first time I've seen the video and that the irony is that that's our video that belongs to Dominic Casey and the Anthony family and yet this is the first time that I have seen it as well as Mr. Casey and the Anthony's. What do you think that this this video shows? I mean it's a very poor quality, it's jostled, it's very blurry, it just looks like a wooded area. We see uh, Dominic Casey going through some trash bags but other than that if, as you're seeing in the video on your TV screen I, I, I didn't really see much in this video. There's nothing in the video, and the only way that video is meaningful is in comparison to what the FBI and Orange County Sheriff's Office have pre-crime uh, scene. In other words, before they excavated and did their investigation, uh, the video means nothing unless compared to that. Now, James Hoover had the video in his hands. He was the one that released this to different people. Please explain to our audience why you say this is not his property to be peddling. Mr. Hoover was under the umbrella of DNA investigations. Dominic Casey owns DNA investigations and Mr. Hoover was working for them and they were working for the Anthony family. Therefore, any work product, any anything that they produced as a result of that investigation is owned by DNA investigations and the Anthony family. Mr. Hoover took this without authorization and refused to return it to us. It is our video. And you told me that Mr. Hoover called your clients last week? He did. He called my clients within the last two days. I'm not going to reveal the substance of that conversation because we will talk to law enforcement about that and then let everybody know what he had to say. And what's your next step in all of this? My next step is to make sure that people like Mr. Hoover do not profit from the tragedy of this little girl's murder. You mentioned something about his PI license. We will go after his PI license. He has attempted to peddle what is a piece of evidence. Whether it's a relevant piece of evidence or not is for law enforcement to decide. But that video should have been turned over as soon as Kaylee Marie was found. Okay. And uh, that's Brad Conway joining us live. I will say that we have made several calls to James Hoover and his attorney over the last week and neither of them have called us back at all to respond to uh, these allegations against them and them peddling this video. We're going to keep calling them, and if we ever hear from them, we'll certainly let you know what they have to say about all this. For now, we're live in Orlando. Holly Bristow, Fox 35 News at 10. Holly, a lot of conflicting information back and forth. Can you shed a little light on that? I mean, just two weeks ago, we had an interview with Dominic Casey saying that uh, Mr. Hoover did not work for him. Now we're learning tonight, and we've seen business cards that say otherwise, and we hear Mr. Conway. What can you make of all that? You know, it, it's one of those things that, um, from what I'm hearing from Dominic Casey um, and from Mr. Conway, was that Mr. Hoover basically was not operating under a license due to the way that PIs work. You have to be a full-time PI working for somebody in order to have an active license. They're saying that he technically should have been inactive, that when Casey caught this, he put them under the umbrella of his organization. But prior to that, he was not an employee of DNA investigations and he was never a paid employee of the Anthony's or DNA investigations. There is still a lot more to come on this. There are several things that we know about this that Mr. Conway knows about this that at this point we can't report but I promise you there will be some interesting things coming out uh, in light of all this later this week. Well I'm sure there will be Holly. Thank you so much for all of that. You're doing a great job.